Okay, so we are working on our natural history illustration. So your assignment, choose six different animal textures. So I've given you these six right here. If you want to find your own, that's fine too. Um, draw a grid like the one you see to your right. In each line, you will draw one of your animal textures. Use line only to create the texture. Each box should get darker and darker from left to right. Okay? So I don't know what these are. This is just a value example. Like this could be lizard skin. This could be feathers. This could be like a wiry fur. So we're going to start. I think I'm going to just do one. And I'm going to start with the lion fur. I'm going to make sure you guys can see my table here. So what are our materials? What are we working with here? You can use the paper in your sketchbook if you have a sketchbook. Um, or you can just use drawing paper. Don't use your good drawing paper. Just use um, like printer paper or something from your sketchbook. Just something, you know. This is just an exercise. So the directions say we're going to draw six different values. So this is going to take you a little bit of time. Um, but the first thing you need to do is draw a grid. You're also going to be using the lead pencils that I gave you for this project. Is Beninger? Yes. Um, my internet. Uh, I just left because like there was something wrong with my internet. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, I'm giving you a demonstration on what we're working on today. So you need a piece of paper. Printer paper is fine, or sketchbook paper, a ruler, and your lead pencils. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I gave you two different types of lead pencils. The first one is going to be a hard light lead. So here's a demo of what that looks like. You're barely going to be able to see it in my um, webcam here because it's so light. And then there's also a darker, softer lead. So the difference between the two, you'll probably just discover when you're using the pencils. But your darker lead probably has a B next to it and your lighter lead probably has um, either a low number in a B or an H. So like for example, a 2B would be a lighter lead than a 6B. Or like an HB would be a lighter lead than a 5B. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm going to use my darker lead just so you guys can see what I'm doing. But each line has to have six boxes, so I'm going to draw a line that's six inches across. Okay, and then we're also doing six textures, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I put seven in there, but you only have to do six. Okay, so they don't have to be big. You can just do an inch by an inch box. So then I'm going to go six inches down this way and six inches down this way. I'm going to close off my box here. And then I'm going to make markings here. So every inch, I'm going to put a mark. Three, four, five, six. And then every inch, I'm going to put a mark this way too. One, two, three, four. So I'm creating a grid. So I think I'll start with these lines. This Greninger? Yes. Uh, my internet was really laggy, and I also didn't want to get my sketchbook. Um, what are we exactly doing? Um, Ovia, why don't you just um, start listening from this point on, and I'll mm -hmm. catch you up after, okay? Because I'm, I'm in the middle of a demo right now. Okay. Okay. And I'm also recording this, so you can go back and watch it. All right, so I'm creating a grid here. And so I need a ruler and my both my pencils. Okay, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to label. I'll hold this up so you can see a little bit better. So each box is an inch by an inch. So one inch by one inch. Okay. Then I'm going to go on the side and I'm going to label. So you're going to choose six different textures. You can use the ones that I chose for you here. You can find your own as long as they're animal textures. Um, so I'm going to label them. Leopard, um, lizard, 
zebra, snake, lion, and elephant. Now you do not need to do the entire texture in that box. I just want you to choose a section of it. Excuse me, Ms. Greninger? Yes. Um, how many boxes are we doing? I can't see it well on the camera. Six by six. Six inches by six inches. I'm going to sharpen my number six here. So what I'm trying to teach you guys is how do I get this texture by using line only and how do I create a value scale with it? So I'm going to do the lion here. Um, and I, I usually like to start with the darkest one because then I can work my way lighter and lighter and lighter. It's a lot easier to do that than to start with the lightest one. So if I'm doing the darkest one, I'm going to use my darkest pencil. And I'm not going to do any shading. So like the difference between shading and line, shading is when we put all the lines really close together. I hear you guys need have questions, but let's just hold off on the questions until I'm done with my demo. And I'm happy to answer your questions. That's shading. Okay, so we're not going to do that. No shading. We're only going to get value with line. So if I want to make a dark value, then I have to put the lines close together and overlapping. But I'm never filling it in so much that I'm making it solid. Okay? And if I want to make a really light value, then I would take my lighter pencil and I would leave some white in there. But I would still have line in there to kind of represent what I'm drawing. Okay, so that would be an example of a light value, and that would be an example of a dark value. But we need to get a range. So this would be the darkest one, and this would be the lightest one. And you can even label it if you want to. So dark, light. Okay, so I'm going to look at my lion texture. I'm going to make it bigger on the screen here. And I'm going to see that it has... Um, sort of a format to it, right? And I'm only doing line. So I'm going to go in and draw the darkest shadows first. And I'm not shading, I'm not coloring, I'm just doing dashes. I'm drawing line. And I'm trying to make it look like lion fur. So you want to pay attention to the length of the line, the direction of the line and make it look like clumps of fur. And this is also my darkest value. Okay, so I need to really kind of fill it in as dark as I can go. And I'm pushing hard too. Okay, so without losing the texture, that is probably as dark as I'm gonna go there. So the next box over needs to be lighter. I'm going to do the same pattern, try to do the same pattern. I'm going to push um, less, right, so I'm not putting as much pressure down. Still doing lines, creating kind of like a darker gray. Remember there's six of these and the last one has to be almost white. So you might be asking, well, why are we doing this? It's an exercise in learning how to get texture and value only with line and creating animal textures. Ms. Greener? Uh, yes. Are we just drawing or are we drawing textures? I'm confused. Um, let, let me finish my demo and then I will clarify for you. We're drawing textures from the lecture, animal textures. Okay, so this is a lion. This picture I got from my presentation, um, and we're going from dark to light. We're doing a value scale, okay? So this is the darkest. This one gets a little lighter. Now this one, I could maybe use both of my pencils in the middle one. So it gets lighter and lighter. And this is the tricky part, right? You're gonna get points for, for seeing a gradual scale down of value. So the definitions of words is important right now, right? We have to remember what value is. 
we have to remember what line quality is. So I'm going to go in and use a little bit of my HB, my lighter lead. Okay, now I'm going to just stick to my HB or my 2B or whatever you have that's the lighter. Everybody got different ones because we didn't have full sets of all the same ones. So this is getting pretty light. Remember, it has to be lighter than the one to the right of it. So you can see it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. And this one, um, the last one will barely have any lines in it. I want you to learn how to do this value because um, we want our animals to look three-dimensional. And to get the third dimension, we need shadow and we need highlight and, and gradations of gray. So you might encounter this issue when you get towards the end. Well, those look really maybe a little bit too similar. So I might go back in and make this one a little darker. And then if I do that, then oops, maybe I need to make this one a little darker. And then this last one will barely have anything in it. Okay, so you're going to be doing this for each animal. So elephant texture, remember you don't have to do the whole elephant face, maybe just the eye or the, some wrinkles, snake, zebra, lizard, leopard, or you could find your own animal textures. Just make sure you label them so I know what you're drawing. Okay, um, so for today you're going to be starting this and working on it. You do not need to finish it by today. You're just posting a whip. So what are you posting by the end of class today? The start of this and your notes. Okay? Do I have any questions?